Hello and welcome to this tip which deals with getting an accurate top view uh, that's lined up properly when you're using layout. Okay, what I have here is in SketchUp, the application, um, a model of the trade show booth that we use for Macworld exhibitions when we go to those. Anyway, what I'd like to do is use this model to make a paper document set in layout, which is a brand new feature in SketchUp Pro 6. Now, you only have layout if you have Pro, but you can get a free demo copy by um, downloading it from sketchup.google.com. Okay, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go up to the file menu and I'm going to say save. So before you do anything with your SketchUp model, such as send it to layout or anything like that, you want to save it. Now what I'm going to do is go up to the file menu again and I'm going to choose send to layout. Now it's an option in the file menu. When I choose that, what it's going to do is automatically open layout for me. And it's going to open this kind of template picker thing, and I can choose any template I like. Now, I think I'm going to use this one this time, this Windows 11 by 17. This Windows has nothing to do with Windows, the operating system. It's called Windows because this template um, has a series of windows on its multiple pages. Okay, I'm going to choose Choose right there. And when that opens, what I'm actually going to see is that template that I just picked right here. So I'm sort of zooming in and out of it. But I'm also going to see the model that I was just working on in SketchUp, and it's right here. Uh, when I click on that model, I'm going to have the, the frame around it. I'm just going to kind of pick on that frame and make it a little smaller, kind of center that thing on the window a little bit. Now, here's the, here's the big deal about layout, right? When I double-click on this placed SketchUp model, I then can orbit around it, I can pan it, I can even zoom into it and get different kinds of views here in my layout model. So if I double click away from here to set that view, now what I've got in my layout document, so with this title block and page number and logo and all that stuff, is um, the ability to have sort of different views of this model. So let's say I like this view on this page. I'm going to say, I'm going to, um, I don't know, copy that view on that page. Let's go up to pages and add a new page. And I'm just going to paste that view that I had on the previous page right here. Now let's double click on that view again. And I'm going to kind of zoom out and then orbit around. And what I want to do is get a top view in this case. I want to get a top view and I want it kind of be uh, black and white. Um, and I want it to be lined up more or less, you know, like this. I want the, the lines on this booth, which is more or less uh, rectangular, to line up with the edges of this paper, which is definitely rectangular. Now, what most people try and do when they do this is, first of all, I'm going to turn off perspective. Okay, so that turns off perspective. Let's zoom out. Now I've got a non-perspectival view of my model. And I did that just by right-clicking on the model view and deselecting perspective. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to standard views and choose top. Now, here I'm sort of in the, it kind of flies it off the page there, so let's zoom out a little bit. Now, when I have that on the page, you notice how it's kind of rotated, right? These edges don't actually line up with the edges of the paper, and that's actually really annoying. Um, there's a trick for getting it to line up in layout, which actually makes a lot of sense uh, once you learn it, but I don't think I ever would have figured it out if somebody on the layout team hadn't told me about it. Before I do this, though, what I'm going to do is deselect this a little bit. There we go. When I click outside, it's going to, there we go, that dotted line around it disappears, which tells me I'm no longer editing that, that um, placed SketchUp model view. I'm going to open the SketchUp model inspector or dialog box. You can find that up here in the window menu, SketchUp model, right there. And if I click on that model view, it's going to show me all the different styles that I had applied to that model or tried on that model, let's say. Um, when I was back in SketchUp, and one of those styles is actually this black and white style, and that's the one I want to use in this view. Uh, I also want to make sure that, let's see, I have no shadows on. Uh, my view, yep, I'm in the top view. I don't have perspective on. I'm not worried about fog in this case, so let's kind of minimize that dialog box a little bit. Now, what I want to do to make this thing line up is this. This is the, this is the trick, all right? I'm going to right-click on this, and here in standard views, instead of choosing top, I'm either going to choose front, back, left, or right. Watch. I'll just choose front this time. When I choose front, you'll see that we have a front view of the booth, just like that. And if I kind of zoom in, you'll see what I'm talking about. So it's kind of a front, no perspective view of the booth. Now, if I click on this and choose standard views and choose top, what will have happened is I'll get a top view, but this thing is actually properly lined up right now. It's a rectangle sitting inside a rectangle without it being rotated or anything like that. Now, the reason that worked is, let me go back to that front view again. 
it all all layout does to um, get a top view of a SketchUp model that you've placed in layout is take it and sort of rotate it down so sort of rotate it towards you kind of like you're holding a cube in front of you and you just flip it down so that you're looking at what was the top surface instead of the surface that was facing you I hope that makes sense so let's go back to standard views and top right there okay let's uh, in this case actually choose uh, a left view this time so this time we're actually looking at the short side of the booth right here but what we want is the top view so I'm gonna choose top view this time and instead of seeing yeah instead of seeing that rectangle wide this time we're gonna see it tall because again before we were looking at this this surface or I should say this face of the booth head-on and so all it did was just kind of tilt it down towards me just like that okay I hope that makes sense to you because I think um, I think for you diehard layout users that's actually gonna be a big boon I know it was for me it took me a few months to get around the uh, to uh, actually asking somebody from the layout team exactly how's that works okay so again this is how it works you're gonna right click on that model view choose standard views and again before you choose top choose front back left or right and then choose top uh, subsequent to choosing one of these and you'll have a nice model view that's lined up perfectly with the edges of your page okay and that's the end of this tip trick for the SketchUp Date blog